Jake absolutely saved my life, no two ways about it. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind, not only did he save my life, but he saved the life of the individual he bit. Philanthropy means love of mankind. In the case of our donors, many times it's love of canine kind. The bond between canine and officer is very, very strong. In some cases, it's actually life-saving. Currently, the San Diego Police Department has 36 dogs assigned to our canine unit, or canine handlers. It was over 12 years ago that the uh, city was able to fully fund the canine program. Currently, it's a great example of a public-private cooperation in that all of the police dogs that serve now are paid for by community donations through our foundation. We work together, and that way we keep the canine crime fighters on the case. The canine unit is one of the best resources that we have for reducing lethal force. Sometimes just the mere appearance of the dogs would diffuse a situation that could obviously turn tragic. San Diego Police Department, driver! Step out of the vehicle, send a police dog, you won't be bitten! In pocket. Hop! The dogs come from a sporting culture. What we have to do is teach them how to be police dogs. Sport work is not police work. So we have to teach them to use those skills in police work. Building searches, area searches, going into vehicles, cars, that's totally foreign to them. So in addition to the training, agility, jumping, climbing, biting bite suits, biting bite sleeves, we have to teach them to do that in places that are not common to them. The bond between the canine officer and the dog is extremely important and the canine officer gets the dogs at a very young age and practically work with them their entire career. Jake and I do have a, a special bond, very special. Jake was still relatively young, he was still a puppy, an individual who was uh, commiserating on the one year anniversary of the death of his brother fell off the wagon got drunk. As he got drunk, he got some drugs, got high, took a six-inch hunting knife and started swinging it at people up on El Cajon Boulevard. Officers got on scene, he waved the knife around, so small team of officers moved towards the guy. Jake and I moved up on him, telling him to show his hands, not move. He was about 30 feet away when he jumped up and sprinted towards us with a knife held above his head. I released Jake on his bite command, and at this point, the guy was so close to me, I had no choice but to draw my weapon and shoot at him. Um, I fired about the same time Jake impacted him. Jake got him up the upper inner right arm, stopped him in his tracks, spun him sideways. The guy was holding the knife in his left hand and began stabbing repeatedly at Jake. We can't use deadly force to protect the dog. And, and I, I'll, I'll tell you, it's about the most awful thing in the world to see your partner being stabbed. And as fate was have it, <clears throat> I struck the guy in the wrist he was holding the knife. And despite stabbing at Jake 15 times, only once did the blade land. And it only went in a half an inch. Come here. I know. I know, old man. I know. Excited. I know. I gotta tell you, the Police Foundation plays a major role when it comes to the funding with our purchase of our police canines. And we have hundreds of people throughout the community that want to donate, they want to purchase a dog, they want to see this canine un unit grow. And I can tell you, without the assistance of the Police Foundation and the general public, we couldn't make this happen. So I'd like to thank them personally. If I could, I'd really like to extend a thank you to the donor who provided the funds for this dog. If it wasn't for that donor, I likely would have been killed that night in 2008. I believe that each of us has a role in our own public safety. In fact, it underpins everything that we hold dear, our families, our businesses, our very community. So as we work together to make sure that San Diego is safe, that is what makes our quality of life here the best it can be.